This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razel Kane and I'm back with another toy review and today... G1 Computron. KO. Of course, you know me. I don't, you know, I don't mind KOs. Uh, but this is a very good quality KO. Uh, factory stickers are applied already. They're not that great. Uh, but they work. Uh, like the rub symbols and stuff. And then, you know, they do the job. Um, lousy explanation on how to apply stickers though like there's some that I had to really you know look for uh, but I like this one there's a couple things with it that are you know slightly annoying but Computron was my favorite Autobot combiner uh, I think he's uh, maybe third place uh, overall uh, following you know these two guys uh, but yeah uh, I always love especially Straff the, the alt mode of Straff the Technobots were really cool, but Strav just had that soft spot, kind of maybe because he kind of looks like a, a snow speeder from Star Wars Empire Star Strike Back. So yeah, you know, it's just, I, I love the idea of the Technobots uh, back in the 80s. They were very futuristic vehicles. Uh, the whole story with, you know, Grimlock's new brain uh, was just fantastic. I really uh, enjoyed it. So. Yeah, so I saw it and that's actually my Father's Day gift, which I got like way earlier. Uh, but uh, that's from my wife, uh, or actually technically my youngest son. But yeah, you know, maybe he'll get me something else. Who knows? I doubt it. But thanks for coming by, guys. Before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. My new creations. I, Grimlock, shall call you the Technobots. Okay, this is my first G1 Combiner review, so please be, uh, you know, bear with me. It's uh, it's not super easy. I want to get the instructions out of the way. Like, it comes in this little uh, pamphlet, but it's actually like a super huge poster that details every transformation, um, not superbly not what we're what what we are used to um i don't have the box because this is a ko and it came from aliexpress so i don't have do i have the stats no i don't have the the stats but i do do have the uh red cellophane thing here that uh, came with it but you know i can use it on something else but the instructions they get you there uh but they're you know not as good as the modern ones Let's start with Afterburner. Far out! Fantastic! I'm Afterburner! I'm raring to burn neutrons and see some heavy action! This KO set came with uh, this gun. Looks really good. Could use a little paint. And this uh, kind of rocket launcher. Uh, very hollow. A fist. Well, I'm saying that, you know, they all came in the same box, so I don't know if you know, G1 original uh, wood accessory for the combined mode came with who, but you know, anyway. And then two guns like that. Problem is, I think the original only had one gun, and they're both the same, so I can't make him dual wield one on each hand. And there's a little, uh, you know, spruce mark. So, yeah, but a uh, nice little gun, you know, little uh, mini UZ type of thing, or like, I'm not a gun guy, whatever. Uh, the afterburner figure itself looks good. I've already applied the factory uh, default uh, stickers on all of them. They're okay. The quality is kind of good, but they're miscut at a couple places. So uh, that was uh, too bad. So basically, um, I like the look. I mean, afterburner looks um, kind of, you know, you look at him and you know, you've seen him in the show. They're not super cartoon accurate, but it gets the job done. Uh, the feet are just one block. You know, you do have kind of an articulation here. You have your, uh, you know, your Ferris wheel. Uh, but head, hip, you, you get nothing. Uh, you see all the, uh, you know, screws and the mark. Like, that's not the pins. 
that's you know G1 for you. Uh, nice painted details here and there. Uh, the Autobot logo the, and the rub signs, they all work. Tested it uh, before applying or else I probably would have uh, either get toy hacks or not. It's just, it's kind of cold downstairs here where I shoot and sometimes the rub symbols just don't want to work, but uh, it happens. Uh, and he looks uh, real good, uh, the color and everything. So yeah, I'm just going to transform him. So basically you close this piece out and you uh, raise the hands and voila. Then you add this gun here on this side, a little rocket launcher on this side, and here you have Afterburner in um, uh, bike mode, sorry. Straf comes with uh, two little guns, again, um, I think originally came just with one, now I have two, but they're both from the same size, so you can't make him dual wield. After that, you have these, which will uh, go on his uh, alt mode. Really well done. You have the fist, that will be used for the combined mode, and you have the figure itself. Yahoo! It feels great to be a Technobot! My name's Strafe! Uh, barely any articulation, you know, you have like the wings that uh, fold in and out, you have the, well, the head kind of, I guess you, you can look up because of the transformation. You have a rotation at the arms, but that's about it. Um, you can put uh, the guns uh, in the hands, like that. Well, him, I guess I can make him dual wheel because they're from underneath, but it just depends are on the same side. So, eh, looks weird, but no biggie. I didn't buy that for the individual bot mode. Uh, you know, he, he kind of looks the part. Again, same thing, not super cartoon accurate, but I love the alt mode. He's my favorite alt mode. So all you have to do is twist this like that, extend the wings, push it down, and then you take those little cannons and they have a side uh, on, like there's a little pin here and a little pin hole there. And there you go. And I love, this is my favorite alt mode for any vehicles in Transformers, hands down. I love this, uh, kind of reminds me of the snow speeder in uh, Star Wars, Empire Strike Back. And no, it's really good. I, I, I love the design. With the stickers, it does work well, you know, the uh, enhanced colors and then the little silver details here. This is completely misaligned and or miscut, couldn't fix it. And then you see the head, but there's wheels. And uh, here you have like, but they don't, well, I guess they could turn. It looks like there's a little pin there, but there it's pretty tight, so it uh, doesn't work. But great alt mode. Nose cone. Nose cone. I, Grimlock, have created you. Are, are you my father? Uh, you have his side missiles. Uh, looking good. Uh, kind of weird to have that crosshair at the top here on the tip, but I don't know, maybe that's a thing on Cybertron. Uh, looks good. Very yellow. You have the little gun and that works as well. I like this. I like this gun. It's pretty cool. I don't know. There's something about it that just talks to me. And if him, you put it on the inside like this. And then you have the figure itself. Nice colors. Uh, you know, he's different. That's one thing, you know, they're all in the same area, but uh, different. Uh, the yellow, uh, the uh, red, or uh, again, colorblind. So either this is like brown or dark red. Uh, I'm seeing it as dark red. Looks really good. The beige uh, for the cone or the drill. And then you have the, of course, the head. Uh, you know, again, not too cartoon accurate. Nice Autobot logo. One thing about this guy, if you get this set, careful. The legs are fine. Well, actually, no. When you start in robot, 
and it's super tight like you're afraid it's gonna snap into you so when you transform him be very careful but then once you're past this super smooth no problem and then you have um, the uh, a little articulation uh, inside the arm uh, can I hmm, it's kind of hard to so but you put it down like this so it's sticking out so that you have the proper uh, balance if you leave it in there he's gonna fall backwards in alt mode it's kind of odd but and then you have to push that in but you have to push on the head to get the the cone and then you take this cannon very tight so don't push it in too hard because you don't have leverage to pull it out properly afterwards uh, so just be careful with that but that's the uh, drill mode now transform drill me a safe passage deep into unicron's brain and i like it very original nice colors the autobot logo the little stickers the rub symbol all working perfectly you know and it's uh, fairly you know there's a little uh, wheels and it rolls fine but uh, it's a very good representation of the character Milla wowed afterburner. Says who? They call me Lightspeed, faster than a speeding photon. And next we have, uh, this one is Lightspeed. Um, you have uh, his gun, and it's, you know, when you get it in the inbox, uh, you don't know exactly which gun goes where, and the pictures don't really, you know, they're, they're very similar guns, so when they're, they were drawn, uh, they kind of look the same. So, but you match with the color. Uh, the color of the vehicle accessory will match the color of the uh, in robot accessory. So that's pretty cool. So you have this kind of Uzi, Cybertronian Uzi. So looks good. I like it. And then you have two little uh, cannons that you will use in alt mode. And, you know, both uh, very decent design. You have the foot. And then you have light speed. And my son uh, said that he was a uh, Lamborghini. And I'm like, no, he's Cybertronian. But uh, so we argued and I gave up. So I present to you a Cybertronian Lam Lamborghini. But no, I like, yeah, I mean, he has a huge long belly, uh, but it's, it's good. I mean, the little details with the stickers here, uh, rub symbols, nice headlight, nice wheels, uh, you know, the, red and beige color looks good cleans up good in the back and it's a you know very simple transformation extremely tight like the feet part here when it's tucked in really hard to get it out for the few uh first times uh, but uh, eventually you pull too hard and it rips out but it's easy to put back in unless you break it so to transform clip this in clip this in Hold this over and put the hand and then there's a very tiny tiny peg here and here and you're gonna put the arm over it like that like that and then you take the cannons and there you go nice vehicle nice wheels same pins you know no mushroom peg that's cool. Cleans up nice in the underneath. Top view. Looks really good. I don't see a Lamborghini in there. Very, you know, futuristic car. Looks really good. I like Lightspeed. And then you get uh, Scattershot. And you, Scattershot, shall be the leader of the Technobots. But I thought you were our leader. And if you want to see an actual great, awesome review, go check Firetox Design. If you actually type in G1 uh, Scattershot Review uh, in Google, you'll find Firetox uh, very, like in the first two or three uh, results. Uh, he did a fantastic review of this. Um, so I'm gonna, you know, just show you the uh, figure. I he, He's towering over everything, uh, obviously. Um, he's not, in show scale at all but 
that was what it was back in 86. Um, love the guy. Uh, he's a great uh, robot. Uh, you know, he's big and he's actually, he has a weight to it, you know. Uh, of course, compared to the others, they're super tiny. You have this accessory, which we'll use in um, artillery mode. Uh, had some decals. So, looks good. You know, does a job. The Computron gun that he also used. So, that's a very nice rifle. I like that. This is how the Optimus gun should have been. You know, peg in the back and then the ammo clip in front. Not the other way around. You have the little uh, shoulder cannons and it's kind of like you have this peg here which will be also used in uh, the combine mode but you have to push and kind of align everything together and this is my first g1 combiner so i didn't know how the peg were so it's they go in and it's super solid to a point where when you pull to remove it it's scary but you know it works um yeah i'm just gonna leave it there for now I've applied the stickers uh, here, 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 and here, and here, and here. And uh, I think there's maybe, well, there's uh, one here for, uh, well, on each side. Uh, little decal here, uh, on the top here, in the back. Oh, sorry. In the back here, and this one here, underneath here, uh, at the elbow. So, yeah, quite a few decals. Uh, nice head sculpt. Uh, very blue. Could have used a different color for the shades. But uh, looks good. Now, of course, there's that, you know, boner joke uh, that everybody... I'm not going to do it, but, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, but it, uh, you know, they have the cannon. So it looks good. It's a very uh, easy transformation, too. Uh, but first, articulation. Uh, nothing at the head. You have a rotation for your Ferris wheel right here. You do have... No, you don't. You don't have a waist rotation. That's right. Uh, it's... Well, no, no, no. You have to. Hold on. Why? Oh, it's this. It's blocking. Sorry. You. So you do have... On this guy, you have your merry-go-round. Uh, you have a nice kick forward. Kick back. A 90. Come on. It's tight. 90. More than 90. Well, a little more than 90 degree bend at the knee. But you don't have anything for toe tilt and uh, rocker. But uh, you do have like double uh, band at the elbow and the wrist. But it's kind of odd. But it's for transformation. You need it. So there you go. All right. So let's. Uh, that's for accessories and everything. Let's do the uh, artillery mode. So you push this in. Like that and I only did it once so maybe I'll have to pause and go see this is super tight to push in and then you want this on top so you pull this down like that oh yeah this lifts up ah it clipped in super tight like there's a way to clip it not tight <laughs> of course on camera all right give me a second Okay, it helps if you push the uh, the head in. So push the head, lift this, and, but it was really, really tight in there. Uh, and then after that, you yeah, I turn them. So now you have this. Did I turn them? Yeah, I did. So you have... Well, actually, I'm almost there. Uh, so you like this, but like I said, this doesn't clip well, so it's kind of annoying. So you put it in like this, and then you take this part here, and there's a little hole here and a little pin there. Just kind of sit it like that, and there you go. Artillery mode Looks good does the job uh, Cybertronian in design you can move the legs a little bit if you want to change your aim That's always an option So yeah, I mean it's cool that they have like a, a you know he's well I'm not gonna call him a triple changer, but he has something uh, extra 
So after that, you want to close this and put this, pull this out like that. Basically for the, uh, there's no clip on the side to, you know, make sure that the legs stay, but they're really uh, in a, uh, they're solid. I mean, they're kind of loose when you turn them, but they stay in that position. And I'm trying to get this, it won't stay in. So anyway, and you extend the wings. And this is your alt mode. Technically, you should remove this gun and this gun underneath. Um, but he doesn't have, well, there's a little landing gear here. So if, wow, that's tight. So if you remove at least this one here, well, he can stand like that. And there you go. So that's pretty neat. And now to do the combine mode, um, he's gonna, you know, put that back in. You're gonna, well, yeah, you're basically, you put him back in robot mode. So like this, put that back down, pull the head back up and then turn it around. Well, you're gonna want to well, the head doesn't matter if it's in or out. The Computron head will stay, stay anyway. Uh, great head sculpt. That looks very like the character. I like it. Uh, there's a little scratch on the side here. It's too bad. But I like the, the look of it. And then you just shove it in there and it holds. So the head doesn't have to be all the way uh, up. All right, let's remove this. Then you're gonna keep this in the back, but you wanna fold, uh, fold the, the wings back again. Fold this and this. And he's gonna stay like that for now. You're gonna wanna do the legs. So you take this guy and remove it. I actually leave the guns there because they don't affect anything. And that just gives them more firepower and there's no other storage and then you're gonna pull uh, this thing is hard to pull there you go there is the uh, hole here so what you want is to put this guy like that so he's gonna be facing backwards when he's in feet mode and now I'm trying to remember which side he is yeah I got it and now you're gonna take no scone um, He's pretty much already flipped the head back. I mean, you could lift uh, this and put, you know, push them uh, upwards. But I kind of like to keep the gun there. So just take the foot. Uh, there's a hole there, big here. There you go. And then, and then these are uh, push pegs, like so they, they extend and they grab around the head. And then when you pull, uh, it, it releases them. And it's a little scary to at first. You get used to it though. I guess kids just didn't care and just went and shoved it. But I've learned to be careful with my stuff. So first couple times were a little scary. There you go. So you have this. Uh, might have to move this a little bit. There you go. Uh, Straff, same thing. Uh, very simple. Uh, flip this. You can leave his uh, gun. Put the head here. Leave this extended. Uh, one tip I'll, I'm going to give you. Take the gun and put it in the fist first because it's really tight. And unfortunately, this is very loose. So, you see? Uh, or I can maybe put it like that. But then when he's in hand, uh, so what I do is I, again, this is not the type of connection I'm used to, but I like it. So there you go. Um, yeah, maybe there's a different way, but you know, that's the thing. The gun is a little too heavy and it's the same with the other hand, so. All right, so let's go like this then. Well, that's what you get. 
Uh, this guy is gonna be a little change, but again, I can leave the guns uh, on it so he looks a little more bad. So extend this, push this down, flip the front back, and then shove it on the side. So, and then what I do is I turn this around so that he has some firepower or if you want you can switch them and put this here. So that's the combined mode. So now all the little guns are no longer needed, uh, the shoulder cannons either. And you don't need, the, oh actually that, yeah you need this now. You're gonna put it quite easily here. It doesn't clip, it kind of just sits there. So, but it's a nice tight fit. And you do have a bit of a, you know, because of the transformation of uh, scatter shot, you have that waist uh, rotation that you can, uh, can do. You have, you know, the full rotation here. Uh, and because of the knee, you could, well, you have the legs that move, but no, you don't have any knee articulation. So, yeah, there you go. I mean, very blocky, of course, it's a G1, but I would have loved to have, man, I'm going to need, I heard uh, Patriot Prime say floor polish does the thing. I have Kiki, but Kiki's more for articulation, but I'll, you know, I'll try something. But... I would have loved to have this guy as a kid. I am Computron. My computation capacity is nearly infinite. Yet I lack the intelligence to feed my capacity. Because Computron was a smart robot. He was futuristic. And he was a combiner. And all the vehicles were really cool. What's not to love? Uh, on the other hand, I'm not a big fan of Abominus. Uh, I think he was a cool looking robot. It just, I don't know, it, it, there wasn't really a, a big uh, evolution or development of this character. Uh, Computron had, you know, two spotlight episodes. So he, uh, you know, he did, uh, he did good. I think, I think it, it was a very original combiner at the time. And um, while I kind of didn't like him in uh, Combiner Wars, because yeah you know didn't say much didn't do much um but look good and this guy still looks good so that's gonna go on the nostalgia shelf and i'm uh, really happy to pull the trigger that's a again my gift from my wife for my uh, a father's day gift which i'm opening way in advance but because uh, right now we're in may but by the time this comes out it's probably going to be june so eh, timing works all right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Sorry if it wasn't to your liking. Uh, honestly, uh, first time doing this uh, uh, AG1 combiner, so didn't exactly know what I was getting into. But I figured, you know, it's content and uh, it's fun. I really, really enjoy this guy. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.